animals are not here for us. Just like women are not here for men. Homosexuals are here not to be one punching back for heteros. Just like black people, we need not here to be slaves. Where if you live in Saudi Arabia, white people are not be slaves. The animals on this planet exist for the wrong reasons. They're of their own purpose. And just because we don't know which that is, does not mean that we have the right to dictate, enslave, and imprison them. That's the victimized mindset. The thing I try to learn people with my videos is to watch things from a different perception. Not from me or you, but from all living beings. Try con to consider not only our species, but also chimps, gorillas, whales, butterflies, insects, even small beings, how most consider worthless how but how are in reality the biggest key players in the ecosystem without bees the whole ecosystem and with all other providers the whole ecosystem collapse they will not grow food they will not grow flowers. No fruits. No food. The majority of the food will not grow. And the majority of the mammals will not survive. But in the end it will also hurt the carnivores. When the pollinators, like bees, butterflies, etc., are disappearing, we are not so far from extinction. Another example of a very important key player in this whole system, the ecosystem, where we live in are phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are tiny marine plants who live in the hyperbolic zone of the sea, the upper layer in basic people's language. This very important key player is responsible of 70% of all the oxygen on earth. They are disappearing since the the year 1950, and they are disappearing. This is part because of the decline of the whales. How when they eat plankton and other stuff whales eat. They go to the bottom of the sea to take that. And then when they are again Go back to the hot power zone to get their oxygen because they are mammals. They take the phytoplankton up to the hot power zone where they then again can photosynthesize. When they do this, they also produce very iron and nitrogen rich manual 
would also have some bi B vitamins in it. The whales are disappearing because of fishing, whaling, and many other of this ecological terrorism, this ego terrorist organizations. Not only whaling of Japanese kills whales, dolphins, and other marine species, how it are important for the ecosystem. But fishing is also killing a lot of these mammals. Crustaceans, turtles. Yes, indeed. A report by Road of Earth. I'll I pronounce it right. Report that 4.4 million sea turtles, billfish, sharks, seabirds are killed in the Pacific Oceans. Pacific Oceans. That uh, a study by the United um, Department of Commons, World, uh, World, estimates that in the Pacific Oceans, around something like 230,000 loggerheads and 500,000 letterheads. Backs carved and only by Pacific longliners. So, if I say before the sharks, the whales, and many other species on this planet are more managers of nature than we are. Yes, even a worm is more of a manager of nature than we are. People cleaning the shit of from members of our species is not stewardship, it is damage control. Just uh, helping animals how become homeless because we steal their forest is not stewardship, it is damage control. Helping animals house land is stolen by people for palm oil. That's not, and I repeat, that's not stewardship, that is damage control. The environmental groups on this world need to step up, stop, be public relation experts. They have to do where they are being started by the ED. Like Paul Watson also said to um, Greenpeace. If you want to check that more out, check out Documentary about Sea Shepherds on my other channel, on my back ch uh, channel, in the description below. We also are so hateful to bacteria. Why? The majority of the time, bacteria don't hurt us. If, in fact, our body exists out of more bacteria cells than cells of our own species, the homo ridiculous. If you have a weight of 70 kilograms, then you have around 30 billion homo ridiculous cells and 40 trillion bacteria cells. We need these bacteria to survive we need them to digest our food. Their digest materials we don't can digest, for example, 
vessels, uh, fiber. Fiber is something we are not digesting, but our, our bacteria can do. And then this bacteria use it to make um, hormones that make you happy. For example, but not limited to. We need those animals in the sea. We need the phytoplankton. We ne they don't need us. We are the ones that are dependent on them. We are the ones who are dependent on bees, wasps, and many more creatures on this planet. Worms can live without us. That's why they are more important than us. Bees can live without us. We don't can live without bees and other pollinators. We not can live without phytoplankton, then we all die. Then 70% of all the ocean on the sea is away. As Paul Watson have said, when the seas die, we all die. We will not live on this planet with a dead ocean. We need to look to the world in another way. We claim we are smart. Let's prove that. The way I see it, we are just a bunch of extremely arrogant naked apes out of control. We claim no right from wrong. We claim we are moral beings. We claim we understand compassion, decency, good wine, it's time, we have proved it. If you are not vegan, go vegan. That's a way you can prove to me that you are not a person I was only a lip service hero. Because we don't need more lip service heroes. We only need people who stand for something. Stand for animal rights. Stand for the environment. And indeed, we are not animals as long as we are acting like viruses. If you say viruses are animals, then yes. But the way we act now is not according to the three basic laws of ecology. First law of ecology, where all living beings are bound by, there's a limited amount of resources. That means a limited amount in growth. That means that we cannot have one unlimited free market, at least not in this reality. We live in. Second, the law of diversity. There must be a diversity between species in a one ecosystem to let it work properly. Then we have the law of interdependence, need interdependence, connected. All beings need each other. A lot of animals on this planet live in a symbiotic relationship with each other. For example, um, the animals how eat the shit of others. The third uh, beetle how we live from the secretions beams. Another example. And that is uh, that some birds actually eat the stuff uh, of uh, hippos have, uh, in their mouth, and when a ma hippo is uh, putting his mouth open, he clean the teeth of the hippos. 
and for example our intestinal tract is a great example and the intestinal tract of all of animals on this planet that's a very big complex symbiosis and we also must stop with thinking we are an individual because we are one symbiote that's what we are we are not just one organism and maybe this shock you to find out that you are being bullshit by society or Mr. Say how many shit all through past the three stages first it is mocked and ridiculed second it is finally opposed Best. it is accepted to self which part of the awakening from the matrix are you? the matrix of society the lie you are being born in <laughs> when darkness and light become one the reality splits in a way and the true become visible. 